so this video is gonna be all over the place i try to make this video earlier and guess what they would not stop screaming and yelling um <laughs> crazy night uh crazy morning so i'm gonna try and get through this video as quick as possible first things first last video that i put up look in the comments there was some people that put in or i think a person or two put in some information about medication that they had left over hurry up and go there uh, you know talk with them and so forth i really hope that video was very helpful to some of you um I want to thank everyone that's been um, sending us gifts. Um, again, we re still receive, um, you know, tons of cards and tons of love and blessings. So I just want to say thank you so much for that as well. Um, also, just remember if I put out any information pertaining to who has medication, who you know, who's willing to donate, who's willing to sell, jump right on it. Unfortunately, because I am very busy. I can't be that uh, mediator or liaison all the time for everyone. I get tons of emails, tons of posts, tons of phone calls and so forth. Um, so please accept my apology that I can't um, be there a hundred percent like I want to right now. Um, but I do try to be there at least 80% of the time to assist where I can. Uh, but just know when somebody is saying, hey, have medication, jump right on it because it could be gone just like that. Um, also, the page, I want to make sure that y'all all understand the page that I was talking about last time. Um, I would definitely say go and sign into it. Even if you don't stay in Houston, you know, say you live somewhere else, whatever. Let's tell them to mail it to you or you pay for it. Um, they may wake up. They hear my voice. They hear me talking. Um, anyway, the name of that group, again, is IVF, IUI, Infertility, and TTC Support Houston. Again, try and find your city as well. See if they're listed or your state and see, you know, if someone can help you get the medication that you need. Um, he's having a fit. He normally doesn't cry. I think, I don't know what's going on with both of them, but they've just been very extra today and this morning and overnight. And he's not the one to cry a lot, so when he's doing it, I'd be like, what's wrong with your boy? <laughs> Anyway, let's try and get through this video because I just tried to do this video about two or three other times and every time they hit my voice, they start going crazy. But when I put them in the back, they go even more crazy. So, we'll see. Let's see. Let me try. What's the problem? What's the problem? What's the problem? Huh? See outside? Ooh. What is that? What is that? So anyway, um, I want to kind of put that out there. Again, thank you so much for your patience, y'all. Um, again, with me trying to get to everybody's post or email, um, you know, I, I get quite a lot. There are certain people that have my phone number, so they're texting me or inboxing me or whatever the case may be. So. Uh, thank y'all so much for just having patience, you know, with me um, on getting to everybody and their concerns and so forth. Um, so, how has it been so far with having twins? Um, it's a beautiful thing. Um, I do get exhausted sometimes, but I always say I can be exhausted from trying to get pregnant and stuff, or I can be exhausted from taking care of these little blessings. So, um, so that in its own you know on its own it's just a beautiful thing me and hubby always catch ourselves every day talking about oh my gosh like just think you know a year ago we were upset or crying thinking this day would never happen or thinking we would never have you know a baby or thinking this would never come to pass and you know through the tears through the trials tribulations the wavering of faith the strongness of faith the everything you know it's kind of like, oh my God, like will we ever get there and stuff like that. And it's like when you finally get there, you're like still amazed. You're still shocked. Like you can't believe that you are there. Every morning I get up, I look at them and I'm just like, oh my gosh. Like I cannot believe y'all was in my belly. I still can't believe I was pregnant. You know, it went by really fast to say it went by slow while I was pregnant. <laughs> you know, and so there are times when me and hubby, like yesterday, hubby had a moment. He was looking at, um, he was holding Levi and he was looking at him. 
and all of a sudden he started crying and I was like you okay and he was like yeah I'm just happy and it's like we have these moments where we just we're overjoyed we're extremely happy then we have those moments where we're like why we couldn't have all of our kids you know we're missing three of them you know and so we have our moment it's a very emotional roller coaster um you know it's just one of those things where you just you're you're happy and you're blessed but then you're sad and upset that you couldn't have the other ones as well um <clears throat> the other day i was looking at lennox and um i was giving him his bottle and i had kenny g playing like we love listening to like you know soft jazz music and stuff like that and you know kenny g type music and so I had it on Pandora, and the whole time I was getting ready to, as a matter of fact, I think it was on Halloween. And, uh, excuse me. And so I was getting ready to give Lennox his bottle, and he didn't want to take it at first. He just kept smiling at me. He was looking at me and smiling. And the song that was playing, I knew the words to the song, so I was singing the song. And he was looking at me, he was like, like that. And I was, I was singing, he dropped a tear from his eye, y'all, and I just lost it. I just lost it. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this is this is an amazing feeling for him to look at me and know I'm mama. To look at me and to love me unconditionally because he knows that I'm gonna take care of him and you know the connection that I feel with him and stuff like that. So it was a beautiful thing. Like it was such a, a beautiful thing. Like, oh my gosh. I was elated. Like it was just I don't know, it was it was a magical moment and that was the best feeling ever ever in the whole wide world the best feeling ever um so anyway um i want to talk about ghost kicks as well so after pregnancy for some reason it's like you feel like you're still pregnant in a sense and what i mean by that is that it's like sometimes you can go about your day and all of a sudden feel like you're feeling a kick and like i would grab my tummy sometimes you know just not knowing or not realizing what I'm doing. And I'll touch and I'll be like, why am I touching my stomach? Cause I feel like I didn't feel the kick. And I don't know if y'all experienced this as well, but it's like, I feel like <laughs> every now and then I'm feeling ghost kicks, like ghost baby kicks. Like I'm feeling kicks, there's no baby in there and I'm feeling kicks. So I thought that was pretty unusual. If you ever experienced that, you know, let me know. Um, something else I had wanted to talk about um, was how people, would say like when we're in stores or going somewhere they're like oh you have all three boys and I'm like yeah and you know a lot of times I don't like to get into that whole story about what happened with the girls so sometimes I don't mention them sometimes I do it depends on what kind of day I'm having and so they're like oh all three boys huh you got your hands full and I'm like yeah and they say well um maybe you ought to try again and get the girl you know and they don't know what I had to go through to get them you know and the thing is they don't know that I did have three daughters that you know I uh, was pregnant with and sometimes it do get a little bit emotional I mean I am a strong person uh, I'm a strong person when it comes to trying to keep my emotions um, enclosed or bottled up or whatever you want to say you like that candle um, so I try my best sometimes to it kind of ignore because they don't know they don't know your journey or your story or nothing like that and so anyway um a lot of times you know i'll get that question like um so you know you gotta have that girl or when you're gonna have your girl or when you're gonna you know try again for the girl or you know or they'll be like all you have is boys no girls and i'm just like you know so i'm kind of like okay so that part there has been a little bit challenging since i've had the boys uh, we are going to do a video about our decision about what we're going to do as far as um, if we're going to stop or if we're going to continue. Um, so we're going to have that video um, and we're probably going to have it probably not next week but the week after possibly because on the 17th we go and visit our um, our RE, our doctor that did our um, transfer. Dr. Crochet out of Corm, Center of Reproductive Medicine um, out of Webster or Clear Lake, whatever you want to call it, or Houston, Texas. 17th, we're going to meet him, huh? For the first time, you're going to meet who made it possible for you to be here. Well, besides God, we know God, but who actually did the, the transfer? Yeah. <laughs> so, um... 
that's gonna be exciting to go and meet Dr. Crochet um, and let you know him hold them and he held them once in a tube um, and now he'll get to hold them in flesh yeah so that's gonna be exciting that's coming up um, what else been what's been ugh, I can't talk what has been going on um, we um, they are now three months like I said we will do a video um, about their three month update just not yet and um, yeah you talking they um, have switched roles because mr. Lennox here is only 12 pounds and Levi the smaller baby quote-unquote is 14 pounds so that little boy can eat what you say you talking you talking you talking Hey, it's a... Hey, it's a... Hey, it's a... Yeah. Yeah, hear him talking? They're very verbal. They're gonna be like they mama. They're gonna be, they're gonna be doing some talking. <laughs> See? What the man? <laughs> Just that quick. Went from happy to sad. No, yes it did. It went from happy to sad just that fast. Mm. You wanna look at the candle again? Look at the candle. So anyway, um, I don't have too much to discuss today, guys. Um, like I said, I've been very, very busy getting them together. Me and hubby, we've been uh, taking care of a lot of stuff. I've been, you know, getting back into the whole working scene. So I'm very busy. The little spare time I do have, I spend with the kids. LeBron is doing great. He's adjusting really well. Um, I probably do a video where I kind of, you know, ask him questions and see how he feels so y'all can see how he's doing. Um, he has held them and so forth, but um, he gets really nervous because he's like, I don't know what to say to them. I don't know what to, and I'm just like, just talk. And so he'll get kind of nervous and stuff. But, um... He's doing great. He's a great big brother. He's a great help. Um, he takes out the dirty diapers and, you know, he'll go talk to them a little bit um, and so forth. But, yeah. What is that? It's a candle. Yeah, it's a candle. You like that? You like that? Oh, what is that, Mama? Oh. He's loving this candle that's right here. So he definitely gonna take out the mama. <laughs> yeah, it's a candle. Anyway, um, you know, I don't have much to say. Um, I do apologize, you know, that this video isn't all of that. But what I planned on doing is going live um, either sometime this weekend or on tomorrow or Friday or whatever day. So that's really what I wanted to tell y'all besides the other little updates. So. Um, hopefully, um, cause I think YouTube has changed the way they go live. So I am going to try my best to go live, um, this week. Um, if not twice, at least once. Um, so stay tuned for that. Um, I like this candle. Um, what else? Um, hubby's been doing great. He's been handling it well. Bless you. He um, definitely says that he understands what I go through. Like, he he never discredits what I go through, you know, on a daily basis, you know, by myself with them. There was, like, maybe a couple times he was left by himself with them. Uh, when I went got my feet done and then, like, running errands. And he's like, oh, my gosh, you know, like, <laughs> like, oh, goodness, like, oh, what do you do? So he definitely sees what I go through. And I said, well, that's on top of cooking and cleaning and doing LeBron lesson and, you know, entertaining them. I told myself, I don't just sit them down. I entertain them. I talk with them and everything. Yeah. Yeah. And what else? Yeah. 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 And what else? Yeah. And what happened? He make like he chewing bubble gum. I said, is he teething? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. See, he talks. Yeah. Yeah, what happened? And what happened? Did 
something happen after that? Huh? No? The story just ends right there? Well, that's not a very good story to have it end right there. Can I have the rest of the story? Huh? Can I have the rest of the story? Oh, okay. But anyway, guys, I'm not going to waste too much of y'all time. I just wanted to kind of get on, kind of, you know, give y'all update a few things. And like I said, be looking for us on live. I do get on Instagram live uh, quite a bit. Um, so definitely, you know, look on there. Um, but other than that, guys, like I said, I don't have too much to talk about. Um, I am in the midst of trying to do a video from the beginning of my journey to now. It's taking some time to complete, so bear with me on that. And like I said, um, it's just... Just a lot going on right now, and I hope in the next two to three months, y'all will see <laughs> how, um, everything that we're working on and doing. Um, you know, we're trying our best. So we got some good things coming and popping. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, oh. Yeah. And what happened? Oh. I love you, too. I love you. I love you. Oh, I love you. <laughs> He's so goofy. See if I can turn around so y'all can see him. I love you. Baby hurricane up. Hey. I love you. I love you. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. <laughs> I love you. Aww. <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> he's so sweet. He said he loves his mommy. Why don't get baby hurricane? He's getting up now. Tell everybody bye. Say bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say bye bye. All right, guys. We'll talk to y'all later. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. So anyway, that's Mr. Lennox. Um, I just want to come and give y'all a little short update on him and how he's doing and so forth. Yeah. You need a burp now, huh? So I need a burp, Mama. You stink. You did a